And then a pastor, Gene Malone, asked me to come from Church of the Rock, asked me to come to church one day, asked me if I knew God, knew Christ, knew Jesus, that He loved me. Now, nobody loved me. I didn't even love me. So I just continued, I walked away, I continued walking through, got to the prayer areas, I go, God, here we go, more Bible thumping. And the church of the ladies were there, giving the groceries away. And somewhere around there, a pastor must have talked to them or something and said that to get her, to get her. And I saw love from women that I've never seen before. They just wrapped their arms of love around me, wanted to hold me. About two weeks later, about two months later, I wanted more of that love. I wanted to feel that all the time because it was something I never felt. So I ended up going to the church on the rock and I talked to the young lady there, Sharon. And it was, it was a Tuesday afternoon. I went there. I had been crying for two months. My heart was bleeding, crying. Because I knew I had to do something different. She said, well, you want to invite Jesus into your life? It's like, yeah. And because of Cowboy of Hope, that one day me coming there, the change in my life was just so dramatic. It's, I'm a totally different person now. and they reside in uh, Missouri, but they have a global reach that is around the world. And they do a 50-state tour. And um, I was praying and asking God, what did he want for 2013? And he said, take the gospel to the park. And he showed me what he meant. And I saw the picture and said, God, that's going to take your church to be church. And a friend of mine, I shared with her, and she told me about the Convoy of Hope. And my spirit leaped because I knew that was who God wanted me to connect with for this. And when I called them up and I shared with them the vision of what God had given me, they said, that's exactly what they do. And I said, can we get Santa Ana added to your 50-state tour for 2013? And they said, yes, we can. So... From there, the story goes on, and I began to share the vision with different uh, pastors and different ministries, and they all began to come together and gather together as one church, one body, because that's who we are. We're one people, and we have one purpose. And so today, I'm going to ask everybody to help be a part of that vision. Our goal is to reach 5,000 plus people on that day, not only with, to meet their physical needs and emotional needs, but to introduce them to the love of Jesus and give them an opportunity to come and be a part of the body of Christ. We have churches that will work even long after the outreach is over to assimilate those that receive Christ into the body of Christ. So it's not a, 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 you know, we're there one day and then we're gone the next. Relationships are being developed. Things are happening already, already beforehand. And I'm, I'll talk a little bit more about it at the close of remarks. But because we want to get to the, the last half of the concert with, with Philip Bartlewell and the Uprising, and you guys are really going to be blessed by that. Um, but before we get there, it's time for us to address what we came here for, and that is to raise the funds needed. We still need $60,000, and we're six weeks out from this outreach. But I know that God is well able. You know, He is able. And, and it's like, and I don't mean able as a verb, but that His name is able. <laughs> you know, God puts the able in ability. You know, He is able. I don't know how else to say it, but God just opened my eyes up one day to that, that, you know, he's not just the ability of Abel, but he himself is Abel. So, and he works through all of us. So I'm going to ask everyone as um, 
that is a part of one county at a time music project, uh, which was a very uh, special song that was put together uh, by Joy Holmes and, and uh, Ray Rogers uh, collaborated to put a write a song especially for this day and this event. So I'm going to ask all the singers for that to go ahead and come on up and get into place. And, um, and as they're all coming up to the platform and getting into place, and i got to run up there and sing with them too, um, I just want everybody to just take a moment and just hear God and give accordingly. And just release what is in your hand. One of the things that I've been sharing with the, the leaders and the participating organizations and churches is that we have to learn to, to leverage our resources and release what God has given us. Because what we have is not ours, but it's His. We just need to learn to be stewards of what we have because it all belongs to Him. So I just ask um, this afternoon that as the ushers are passing the basket as we sing this song, that you would hear the message of this song, be challenged by it, and dig deep down in your heart and, and say, Lord, what can I do to help this day come about? Besides the fact that we need volunteers to help, which I'll talk about that later, but we also need money because there are expenses that we cannot avoid <laughs> uh, with this type of outreach. And we don't want to have to scale back because we don't serve a scale back God. We serve a God who is more than enough. So I thank you all in advance for what it is that you're going to give this day to enable us and help us as the body of Christ uh, reach thousands of people on October 5th. So I think we're all just about there. I'm going to run up here. Okay, I'm walking. I'm not running.
Robert and uh, Pastor Gail Oliver, they are the two that came up with this music project.